Hello folks, this is Harley with MI Squared. We've put together a series of short videos that show OpenEMR in action as I perform the tasks that most people are interested in when they're looking for an EMR. The videos are derived from the user guides found in the OpenEMR wiki. And to get a hold of them, you just search to the wiki at open-emr.org front slash wiki That'll get you to the main page. Scroll on down to the user manuals link and then select the 4.2.0 user manual. Now in these we will be looking at these main topics, uh, getting started, main screen navigation, etc. We'll be doing these workflows and we'll be uh, presenting a selection of the supplementary topics that are of particular interest. Now for the record, the OpenEMR I'm using for these videos is version 4.2.0 patch 4, which can be found, the version number of, of the release that you're using can be found on the login screen. So if you go use any of the demos that are available at the, in the wiki, you can know what version you're using right here. Now this is the login screen for this first video called Getting Around Open EMR. Okay, This is the login screen which is the first encounter you're going to have with the application. Let's go ahead and enter my credentials. Which my browser has saved. Login. And as soon as you log in, this is the main screen of OpenEMR. The screen has four areas. This top main bar here is the, the header, or you can call it the header. It's got some objects in it right now, these buttons, these links. There will be more up here, the, the patient identifiers, when we have a patient record up. Uh, the second area, the second main area is the left navigation menu from where all the activity begins. Okay. The third area is the top pane of this display and you see there's a divider between these two and the bottom pane. Each upper and lower pane has, has uh, content that will appear in it by default that can be adjusted or customized later on and we'll go into that some more. Okay, let me pull up a patient record just so that we've got some things to uh, look at here the, the, as we go through the contents of the different panes. And yes, this is all dummy patient information by the way. Just had to say that. Okay, so this top pane right up here and these colors are all customizable so uh, later on down the road in another video we'll show you what options we have for customizing the styles and stuff. Um, okay, top bar, the header, you have from right to left the logout button which will take you back out to the login screen. We have the name of the person that's logged in. In the user profile, this admin account, his first name is sis and his last name is administrator. Okay. This manual will take you to the wiki, which, well, is not configured at this moment, but it'll take you to the user manual for OpenEMR 4.2. Whatever version your system is, it'll take you to the user, the user guide for that version. This home button right here will bring you back to this main display from wherever you are. But it still retains patient information because that will come in handy depending on uh, what other uh, activities you're doing. This object here is a drop-down list of all the encounters, the appointments of this patient but you can go to a specific one or this is one of the ways that you can create a new encounter. Go into that 
later. This is the patient's identifier. You hover over it and it will give the, the PID, the patient ID number, if it happens to be different from the external number, which is in parentheses. Some people have, have a separate numbering system and that's what shows up there. It has this patient's date of birth and this clear active patient button will take you back to your basic state with no patient information, no patient information in memory or being worked on. Now this new patient button lets you create a new patient. This hide menu item lets you hide the left menu in case you really don't need it. You just, you know, you come in, you do well, you don't need the menu or you need the extra space and you can always bring it back. And that brings us to the left navigation menu. Now this default or top or bottom determines where the next item that you click on is going to show up. Either in its default location or it'll show up in the top or it will show up in the bottom. Now, depending on what their default is, they may show up there anyway, but this, this uh, little widget needs a little bit of, of practice with to get used to, but it does come in handy. Now, this will allow you to blank out the top panel or the bottom panel. And that comes in real handy as we'll see down the road. This left navigation menu, again, contains all the activities that you do with OpenEMR, the starting points of them all. So as we go into the different tasks, we will go through these different things. You can see some of them have main menu and then a sub menu that contains even more detail. Okay, and then at the bottom of the left panel, you have another set, another way of searching for records contained in OpenEMR. This will give you a bit of a different display with more information. I'd like to come back to that at a different time. And this online support, MI Squared uses this as a uh, link to get to MI Squared's support system. If, if you're uh, not signed up with the support system, then this will give you some error message on the screen, so we don't need to get into that. Okay, so this is the first preliminary run-through of the work screen on OpenEMR. The next video will be examining the left navigation menu in a bit more detail. See you there.